Good morning, I'm Matt Sizemore here on the Basque Block in downtown Boise, specifically in the Basque Market, where one of the things they carry comes from a gentleman who puts a lot of his family history into everything he sells. I'm talking about Three Sisters Meats. My way of telling kind of like our story, and by our I mean like our family story, both here in the United States um, and in Spain. The Three Sisters artisanal meats owner certainly means what he says when talking about his dry cured chorizo small business. You know, really honoring my mom's side of the family. Uh, they're responsible for a lot of the recipe and, and how we use it. The other meaning for Three Sisters is for my dad. When he came to the United States in 1969, he came as a rancher, cowboy sheep herder type, which really interestingly, like here in, in Boise, the Basque community, uh, they came and did the same thing. But what about the name Three Sisters Meats? My mom is one of three sisters, so that's where that part comes from. But my father, when he came to California, the first ranch he worked on was called the Three Sisters Ranch in the Three Sisters Hills. Growing up, he'd often make smoked chorizo with his family, a tradition that came from necessity. For my parents, it was survival, right? Because they were growing up in northern Spain. They were growing up under Franco, you know, his fascist regime. And it was not uncommon for the state police to come by and take your food. A former history teacher and football coach, Fernandez decided in 2016 he wanted to teach history in a different way. I'm going to bring this piece of history to life. I'm going to do it in the way that I know how to do it. You know, and the storytelling is through uh, the food. He got a job at a meatpacking plant where he learned to incorporate the old school ways of his family with modern safety standards. Learning how to properly do everything up to, you know, USDA standard, not, you know, with your folks <laughs> in your garage type of thing, right? Once up to snuff, he started making his own family style chorizo in his off time. Put in my, you know, day of work and then I would make chorizo links, package them up and I would seal them and put the label on it, toss it into a cooler car and I'd drive around the Bay Area to all my different customers that I had. And though his customer base was growing, when COVID hit, it presented him and his family a chance to do something they had wanted to do for a while. We moved to Boise in June of 2020. Uh, my wife is a native, she is from here. So that was like our good window of, of coming back home, essentially. And that decision was perfect for his family and his business, as you can now find Three Sisters Meats in several local stores, including on the Basque Block and over a dozen Albertsons locations. While we don't make the product here physically, everything about the product and everything about the company and everything about what we do is 100% made in Idaho. On the Basque Block in downtown Boise, I'm Matt Sizemore, Idaho News 6.